Welcome to Daily Scripture Reading. I do not own the rights to this music. Exodus chapter 19. This is the Amplified Version. Moses on Sinai. In the third month after the children of Israel had left the land of Egypt, the very same day they came into the wilderness of Sinai. When they moved out from Rephidim, they came to the wilderness of Sinai, and they camped there. Israel camped at the base of the mountain of Sinai. Moses went up to God on the mountain, and the Lord called to him from the mountain, saying, Say this to the house of Jacob, and tell the Israelites, You have seen what I did to the Egyptians, and how I carried you on eagles' wings, and brought you to myself. Now therefore, if you will in fact obey my voice and keep my covenant, agreement, then you shall be my own special possession and treasure from among all peoples of the world. For all the earth is mine, and you shall be to me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation set apart for my purpose. These are the words that you shall speak to the Israelites. So Moses called for the elders of the people and told them all these words which the Lord commanded him. All the people answered together and said, We will do everything that the Lord has spoken. And Moses reported the words of the people to the Lord. The Lord said to Moses, Behold, I will come to you in a thick cloud, so that the people may hear when I speak with you, and may believe and trust in you forever. Then Moses repeated the words of the people to the Lord. The Lord also said to Moses, Go to the people and consecrate them today and tomorrow, that is, prepare them for my sacred purpose, and have them wash their clothes, and be ready by the third day, because on the third day the Lord will come down on Mount Sinai, in the cloud, in the sight of all the people. You shall set barriers for the people all around the mountain, saying, Beware that you do not go up on the mountain, or touch its border. Whoever touches the mountain must be put to death. No hand shall touch him, that is, no one shall try to save the guilty party. But the offender must be stoned or shot through with arrows, whether man or animal that touches the mountain. He shall not live. When the ram's horn sounds a long blast, they shall come up to the mountain. So Moses went down from the mountain to the people and sanctified them for God's sacred purpose. And they washed their clothes. He said to the people, Be prepared for the third day. Do not be intimate with the woman. So it happened on the third day, when it was morning, that there were thunder and flashes of lightning. And a thick cloud was on the mountain, and a very loud blast was sounded on a ram's horn, so that all the people who were in the camp trembled. Then Moses brought the people out of the camp to meet God, and they stood and presented themselves at the foot of the mountain. The Lord visits Sinai. Mount Sinai was wrapped in smoke because the Lord descended upon it in fire. Its smoke ascended like the smoke of a furnace, and the whole mountain quaked violently. And it happened as the blast of the ram's horn grew louder and louder. Moses spoke and God answered him with the voice of thunder. The Lord came down on Mount Sinai to the top of the mountain, and the Lord called Moses to the top of the mountain, and he went up. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, Go down, warn the people, so that they do not break through the barriers around the mountain to the Lord to see me, and many of them perish as a result. Also have the priests who approach the Lord consecrate, sanctify, set apart themselves for my sacred purpose, or else the Lord will break forth in judgment against them and destroy them. And Moses, Moses said to the Lord, The people cannot come up to the Mount Sinai, because you warned us, saying, Set barriers around the mountain and consecrate it. Then the Lord said to him, Go down and come up again, you and Aaron with you. But do not let the priests and the people break through the barriers to come up to the Lord, or he will break forth in judgment against them and destroy them. So Moses went down to the people and told them again about God's warnings. The end. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.